everyone, Sherlock Phantom 1 here, and welcome back. We are finally doing it. We are finally watching Peter Pan. I know nothing about this movie. I didn't grow up on this movie. This was one of those Disney movies that literally I've never seen. It, it was on the back burner. Never was interested in seeing it. Um, the only thing I do know is that it takes place in London, and I love London. Um, I've never been to London, but I really want to go someday. That's all I know. Other than that, I know that there's some orphan kids. I know they're lost boys. I don't know why they're orphan kids or why they're in a jungle on their own. Um, I know Peter Pan. I don't know anything else about him. I know he's like, uh, I, I don't know if he's a spirit or what. I don't know a lot about this movie. So, I don't know what more to say. Um, I'm just kind of ready to get into it and see what it's all about. This did come out in 1953, so... It's kind of one of those older ones. I feel like Dumbo, so there's probably going to be depictions of things that are different. So, just so that's ahead of it, so everyone knows. But sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the reaction. This is Peter Pan from 1953. It already kind of has, already kind of has a Cinderella older vibe. So, by Sir James Barbie. Oh no, that does not say Barbie. I'm sorry. Safari. Credits are still going. Look at that night sky. Oh my gosh. That dog is literally doing so much. Oh, that dog! Why is the dog being more of like a caretaker than it is the parent? Oh my gosh, she just ruined that bed. She just made that bed. Does he not like that? Why did he? Oh, it's because it had to say ABC. Okay. Gosh, this dog is literally. This dog has my heart. Boys, boys, less noise, please. You guys, you're making a mess. This dog is like busting her pump, and everybody's just freaking messing it up. No, see here, Michael. Oh, not you, Father. You see, please, Peter Pan. John, this poor dog. Have you seen my cuff? Oh, Nana, for goodness' sake. What is your problem? <laughs> yeah. That was so rude. The dog's literally over here doing your work and like you're being so rude. Where's the treasure map? You've got mine. This dad is already getting on her. Busting her ass, and you are so rude. But poor father? Oh no. Lost it, where is that room? You're gonna leave her outside? Are you freaking serious? You're an awful person. Why? She didn't do anything wrong. Dash it, old man. Don't look at me like that. It's nothing personal. She's 
She didn't do anything wrong. Why is she put outside? What's going on? I feel like I'm watching the wrong one because it's, they keep mentioning Peter Pan as if they've met him before. Wait, so nobody's gonna watch these kids? Like, I thought they would at least sleep with them with a sitter. Unhook it though. Unhook the. Oh, unhook the rope. She can't get under out of the rope, so now she's gonna float there. So, are we not gonna discuss the dog anymore? Are we just left the dog floating in the air tied to a rope? Oh, that dude is dead. I didn't see him come out of the water. He just 
friggin' shot a man. Oh my gosh, he's so cute, but he's so bad.
such a hurry to kill Wendy. Why is he laughing? What is funny? Why is everybody so mean to Wendy? No, they weren't. Oh my gosh, this Neverland is kind of the worst place ever. Okay, is your hat like a bullhorn then? Why is it making you echo? sad part here like pan cut off his hand and threw it into an alligator's or a crocodile's mouth he clearly has ptsd from this so like is captain hook kind of justified oh my gosh how many nails do you need in one sheet of paper Tinkerbell and hold her as hostage so that Pan comes after her and he finally gets to get Pan or Peter Pan or they're going to make Tinkerbell super jealous as she is anyway because we've clearly seen that she becomes very jealous and use that jealousy for her to help him take out Wendy and Peter Pan. So that's one of two things that I think are gonna happen. Okay, why? Oh. You need to get in the water for there you go. Oh my god. I thought she was playing a flute. This child is smoking? Hey, why does she get to date? 
dance. When do they get to dance? Oh my gosh, is she really jealous? Oh my gosh, why is she jealous? He didn't have her own. Oh my gosh. He didn't, they don't have an established, like, relationship. They're, like, friends, if that, and she's getting all bent out of shape because he's hanging out with another girl. Walk away. Everybody's being so rude to her. Think about, were you really that unaware of your surroundings? Why is everybody so bad at being aware of their surroundings? It was that easy to capture her? great guy and he's like such a catch and all that he's really not kind of like really pretentious really self-centered and he's just kind of not great why talking to you. What is she doing? She's gonna write a... Oh. Wait. Wait, is she leading them to the... She's leading them to his hideout, though. doesn't mean anything. He's gonna... Are they just going to bring all these kids home and hope that their parents take care of them? I mean, I'm sure they will, but like, you're really just going to bring a home a bunch of kids. Looking at Wendy. Oh my gosh. Are they going to do it? Yep. Yep. Here we go. Thank you, Tinkerbell. Why does he have a present? This guy's getting into it. What? Are you kids really laughing? 
laughing at this. How are you not horrified? This is like the second time you've gotten captured and been tied up. Floppy. A minute ago, they wanted nothing more than a two join. Dude, he just tied that around his throat and hit that kid's throat. Oh my gosh, we're really gonna do this? Is he doing that? Oh my god. He's just leaving the fight. Gator didn't get him. Yeah, he did. Nope, he's coming back out. 
Well, I thought my audio was cutting out. I was like, why is it making that noise? been one night it's only been one night Nonchalantly, yeah, we were kidnapped. My thoughts okay I'm probably gonna bother a lot of people by saying this but that was kind of hard to get through I was kind of really bored a lot of the time that just it wasn't a, it wasn't for me it was a movie that I'm glad I checked out I'm glad I can finally say I've seen Peter Pan I love the London scene I wish we would have gotten to see more of London literally we just kind of saw Big Ben and that was it um I really I'm really surprised because there are certain things about this movie I didn't really get. Like I said, like the Neverland thing, how does the aging thing work? Um, something else that was weird is I thought that the whole plot of Peter Pan, maybe I'm remembering from a different movie, but I thought it was going on during some sort of war and I thought that the kids didn't believe in Peter Pan or that they didn't know anything about Peter Pan and... That was kind of weird for me because I, I had a totally other vision of this movie going into it. So when I realized that everybody already knew Peter Pan, Wendy was very adamant that he existed and that she had seen him before, or at least had thought that, you know, she had seen him before or something like that. But it was really weird because, yeah, this movie kind of took a whole different direction than I thought. I did not like Tinkerbell. I know people are going to be so mad. They're going to be like, how can you not like such an icon as Tinkerbell? She was just kind of the worst. She, the, the second she met Wendy, she was like, I'm going to take this, this chick out. So like, I don't know. I just, I wasn't crazy about her character. So I don't know. I would say, honestly, if I had to give this stars, people are not going to be happy with me because I think I'd give it maybe a one star out of five. I, I will not probably be watching this again, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got any entertainment out of this. I hope my commentary is not too annoying. Um... But I really hope that you guys can understand where I'm coming from, that, you know, not every Disney movie is going to hit for me. And not every one, especially when I check out the older ones and classics, are going to hit for me. But just because I don't like the classics doesn't mean they aren't classics. And just because I don't like a movie doesn't mean you guys don't love movies that I disagree with. So, you like what you like, and you love what you love, and if it's a classic to you and it holds a special place in your heart, that's great. But it just didn't hit that way with me. But I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're having a great week. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys. Bye. I am a lost boy from Neverland. Usually hanging out with Peter Pan.